Hi, welcome to today's Digital Yacht video on how to update one of our WLN10 smart wireless NMEA servers. So this unit was uh, was released just at the end of 2018 um, and uh, we intend to uh, keep adding new features to it so it's important that people know how to update the, the software. We try to make it as simple as possible and this video will show you how that can be done. So the first thing to do is get the, uh, the latest software for it. This one I've just downloaded from our uh, support website. So go to digitalyamerica.com, go to support, downloads, and then software, and you'll find the latest WLN10 smart wireless NMEA uh, firmware there to download. And then just download it somewhere safe on your computer. Just check that you're connected to the uh, wireless NMEA server. We are, there we are. Um, and then you just do it through, and I mean, I'm doing this on a Mac, but you can do this on a Windows computer, any, any computer that's got a, a web browser. So we're going to go into the web browser and then put in the IP address of the device, which is 192.168.1.1. That will bring up the, the main web page. Now, it's just got the one uh, main web page, and here at the bottom, you just go choose file. And I'm going to go to the desktop where I've saved that one, select it, then open. Just double check that it is the bin and not the zip version that you've, because uh, I normally zip them up to make them a little bit smaller. Just need to unzip it and you'll find this bin file inside. And then you click the upload firmware. And it uh, gives you a little uh, percentage uh, progress indicator there. It's quite quick. And it then will tell you that it's uh, downloaded it successfully or uploaded it successfully and it's going to reboot. And so just keep an eye on the unit. You'll see the uh, uh, LEDs change and uh, as the unit reboots. And then once it's, it should reconnect automatically, let's just check that we're still connected. Yes, we are. And then we'll go to back to the main web page. There it is. And if we go down the bottom now, you'll see that it is firmware version 1.31. So the update is successful. The only other thing I would recommend after a firmware update is just to press and hold the reset button for 10 seconds, which will then reset it to the factory defaults. It's always good practice after a, a major firmware update uh, just to do that factory reset. Um, and that will just make sure that it's uh, working you know, completely Correctly, and there's no strange settings that it's uh, that have changed from one version of software update to the next. Okay, well that's all for today's video. Uh, it's very straightforward to update the the unit, and hopefully now you've got all the information you need. Thanks very much for listening.